This video is about Evaluating Rational Algebraic Expression for 8th graders. 8th graders, welcome to your virtual classroom. The following are some simple reminders to make your learning as smooth and easy as possible. Use the module with care. Do not put unnecessary marks on any part of the module. Therefore, you need a separate sheet of paper and a pen in answering the exercises. Don't forget to answer what I know before moving on to the other activities included in this module. What I know is the pretest in each module that checks what you already know about the lesson to take. Read the instructions carefully before doing each task. Observe honesty and integrity in doing the tasks and checking your answers. Finish the task at hand before proceeding to the next, one at a time only. To maximize your learning and deeply understand and comprehend the lesson, please pause and replay this video as needed. Now, you are ready. Here are what you need to know. Determine the steps in evaluating a rational algebraic expression and evaluate a rational algebraic expression. What's in? Let's recall your knowledge in translating verbal phrases to rational expressions. In our previous lessons, we learned that to translate verbal phrases to rational algebraic expressions, we are going to identify our known and unknown quantities and operations involved. Now let's try out. A number is multiplied by 2 and another number divided by 3 and a number. Now in this example, we have 1, 2, 3 unknown quantities. And then we have 2, the number 2, and the number 3 as our known quantities. And of course, multiplication for multiplied, division for divided are our operations. Therefore, a number x is multiplied by 2 and another number divided by 3 and a number. Let's try another one. The quotient when 18 added to a number is divided by the difference of another number and 5. So we have one number, two numbers, two unknown quantities. And then we have 18 and we have 5 as our known quantities. We have division for quotient, addition for added, and subtraction for difference. Therefore, the answer to that is the quotient, meaning division, when 18 is added to a number and the difference of another number and 5. x plus 18 over y minus 5. Very good. Let's try another example. Divide 5 times a number and the sum of 9 and the number. Okay, so we have a number and the number, which means we only have one unknown quantity. And then we have 5 and 9, 
they are our known quantities. And we have divide, which means division, times, which means multiplication, sum, which means addition. Those are our operations. Therefore, we have divide five times a number and the sum, which is addition, of nine and the number. Sounds good. In this activity, we have translated the verbal phrase to a rational expression. You considered mathematical operations, symbols, and other variables in assigning the values. What if the variables will be given a value? What could possibly happen? What's new? Now let's analyze this. Teacher Justin is printing his module for the students living in the area which is affected by the enhanced community quarantine due to the coronavirus. His module has X pages. If he printed 330 pages of the module, how many pages does each module has if he has 15 students? Now, we know that teacher Justin has how many students? That is right, he has 15 students. Therefore, how many modules do we have? We have 15 modules also. And also, the story asked for the number of pages. Therefore, we have X number of pages. We don't know the number of pages. And that is what we are going to look for. Given the expression 15X is equal to 330, we are going to multiply 1 over 15 to both sides of the equation so that we can get the value of x on the left side of the equation. Now, we have x is equal to 330 divided by 15, which is equal to 22. That means there are 22 pages in each module. Now, what if teacher Justin printed 440 pages? How many students can have the module given the value of x? Let y represent the number of students. So, 440, the total number of pages printed by teacher Justin. x is the number of pages in each module and y is the number of students. So, we know that we have x is equal to 22. There are 22 pages in each module in our previous solution. And our equation, our number of students can be identified by dividing the total number of pages printed by the number of pages in each module. Substituting the value of x which is 22, we have 440 over 22. Dividing that, we have y is equal to 20. Therefore, there are 20 students that can be provided when teacher Justin prints 440 pages. What is it? The expressions which are not polynomials are called rational algebraic expressions. For example, 15x minus 300 is a polynomial. 440 over x is not a polynomial. It is a rational algebraic expression. When a variable is substituted with a number in a rational expression, it is called evaluating rational algebraic expression. Algebraic expressions can be evaluated by substituting the given value in each quantity or variable. For example, the value of x is 22. We substitute 22 to x, which is 440 over 2 times 22. And then, performing the indicated operation. In this case, we have a multiplication. 2 times 22 is 44. And then, 
440 divided by 44. That's a division. With grouping symbols, operations within the grouping symbols must be performed first before the other operations. Again, substitute the given value of each variable. Perform indicated operations following the GEMDAS rule. GEMDAS means groupings, exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction. And lastly, reduce to lowest term. These are the general rules in evaluating rational algebraic expressions. Now let us try some examples. Evaluate the following rational expressions. Our given is 330 over 15x where x is equal to 2. Step 1. Substitute the value of x, which is 2. Step 2. Perform the indicated operation, which is division. 330 divided by 30 is equal to 11. That is our answer. Sounds good? Let's move on to our second example. Second example, 5k over 3k squared plus 4m, where k is equal to 2 and m is equal to negative 1. Step 1, substitute the values of k and m. k is 2 and m is negative 1. Step 2, perform operation in the grouping symbols, which are 3 times 4 and 4 times negative 1 is equal to 12 minus 4. Step 3, reduce to lowest term. 10 over 8, final answer is 5 over 4 or 5 fourths. That is great! Again, you can pause and replay this part of the video to further comprehend with evaluating rational expressions. What's more, it's time for you to compute. Evaluate each algebraic expression when m is equal to 3, x is equal to 2, y is equal to negative 1, and z is equal to negative 2. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Show your solution. Number 1, w plus y over x. Number 2, 3w plus y over z. Number 3, 4xy minus z over 2wx. Number 4, xy over x plus y. Number 5, y squared plus 3wx. Number 6, 2y plus 9z. And of course, please submit your work on time. Can I count on you? Thank you very much. Now, here is what you need to remember. That rational algebraic expressions, the numerator and the denominator, are being denoted by the P and Q variables. And of course, when you are going to evaluate rational algebraic expressions, Make sure that your Q is not equal to zero because it will become undefined. Fractions where denominators are zeros are undefined. Sounds good? Here's more. The steps in evaluating rational algebraic expressions. Number one, substitute the given value of each variable. Number two, perform indicated operations following the GEMDAS rule, and number three, reduce to lowest term. Now that's excellent! Here is what you can do. There are three parts to what you can do. Part A. Translate the following algebraic expressions to its equivalent phrase. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. For example, 
y minus b could be y minus b or b less than y or the difference between y and b. You have five numbers to work on. Part B of what you can do. Evaluate the following rational algebraic expressions where n is equal to 1, x is equal to 2, and v is equal to 4. Number 1, v plus 7 over v squared plus 4b minus 21. Number 2, 30x cubed over 10x. Number 3, n squared plus 6n plus 5 over n plus 1. And part C of what you can do, classify the following expressions into the box. We have pq over square root of 7, a minus c over b to the power of negative 2, v plus 2 over 0, m over 3m squared plus 6m, b over x squared minus y cubed, m over n squared, 4 over L squared minus L squared. 5 times the quantity of A plus B over AB. We have 9M minus 3N. We have 7 D to the 9th power over 21 D to the 15th power. We have two boxes. To your left are the rational algebraic expressions. And to your right are the not rational algebraic expressions. Again, you can pause and replay this video for more understanding. And please submit your work on time. Can I count on you? As always, thank you very much. Now, congratulations! You just finished Module 3 of Math 8's Quarter 1 Modules. Here are some simple reminders. Make sure every answer sheet has your name, grade and section, and title of the activity or activity number. Follow the date of submission as agreed with your teacher. Keep the modules with you and please take care of them. And lastly, return them at the end of the quarter. Thank you very much for watching. Let me read an inspirational quote from Benjamin Franklin. Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I may remember. Involve me and I will learn. This has been your teacher, Miss Mary Kate. Get involved and keep on learning.